So this video is going to be about the different models of DNA replication. So the first model we're going to look at is the conservative model. So in the conservative model, the idea was that two parental strands would reassociate after acting as templates for new strands. So what that would look like is we have this um, original strand right here. And so these two strands would pull apart and each would act as a template for a new strand, but then the old strands would come back together and the two new strands would go together to make different molecules. And so that would just happen over and over again. And so that's how they thought um, at first that DNA replication might be taking place. So moving on to the semi-conservative model. So in the semi-conservative model, which is actually what happens, so this is the actual way that our DNA is replicated. So the two parental strands are going to separate, and each of those strands is going to act as a template for a new complementary strand. And then um, each DNA molecule is comprised of one new strand and one old strand. And so that process would just continue of these two strands separating and each getting a new complementary strand and becoming a new uh, DNA molecule. So the last model that we'll look at is dispersive, which is another one of the ones that we figured out is not how it truly takes place. And so in the dispersive model, they thought that um, each strand of both of these daughter molecules contained a mixture of new and old DNA. So basically in this model, they were thinking that the parent molecule kind of broke up into different fragments and then new molecules filled in the gaps between these fragments. So that's not um, really what happens. So just to emphasize that again, what actually takes place in our cells is this semi-conservative model where the two strands separate and each strand acts as a template for a new complementary strand to be made on. And then every DNA molecule is gonna consist of one new and one old uh, DNA strand. I hope you found this video really helpful. All images, unless otherwise stated, are from Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building. You can schedule a free one-on-one -on -one 30 minute appointment or you can drop in during uh, any of our normal business hours. For more details, visit www.baylor.edu tutoring.